This is Ada64. It's a, it's a paid program, and I'm using the trial version. However, it does have a GPGPU benchmark. And on the other monitor, this is Halo 1, a PC game. In fact, I'm even going to open up Fraps or something. Well, actually, as you can see, x is telling me my frame rate. And I'm actually going to go into settings and display FPS overlay. As you can see, it's telling me my frame rate. So, let's go on over to ADA64 and benchmark the GPU and see what it does to the game. Wow, look at this. The frame rate went from about... Well, benchmarks. Look how the frame rate's dipping. And this is all about benchmarks. Depending on the operation it does, the frame rate is dipped. So as you can see, GPGPU is no secret sauce, especially when I'm only using GPU. I did not have to do the CPU, and look, the frame rate's dipping to about 100. Oh, look, look, it just froze up for a second. And look how it's dipping again now. I'm just standing here. It's freezing up. Now, it's not telling me what the results are, but I really don't care for the results because I'm just trying to show what it does to the game. And as you can see, it just froze up again hard to tell because I'm just looking at a solid object so I'm just so I'm gonna have the radar see still calculating Frame rate dipping from about 300, what was it, to only about 200. Still doing it. Look at that, it just dipped again. Frame rate's really bouncing. Stuttering, freezing. And it's freezing up as each thing happens on Modern 1. It's it's doing this. And and during that, it's freezing up. So as you can clearly see, GPGPU does not affect that. It does in fact infect your game. And see, look, now that's over, my GP frame rate went up to 360 something. And back where I was, with more lighting on screen, it's higher. So now, let's alt tap, control shift escape. Go to performance, as you can see you've got a nice hex core processor. Let's try this again. As you can see, 
can see my frame rate's tipped again. So I'm going to alt tab and see what's using the processor. So ADA64 is clearly using Soffit. However, I'm just going to let Halo 1 use its own thread. As you can see, even the GPU is stuttering. Okay. Notice how it's all slow because the GPU. That's because the GPU doesn't work in gaming. So I've made Halo 1 use the upper three threads and look. I've given Halo 1 its own CPU and while it's maxing out one of the cores, as you can see, the GP GPU secret sauce is actually harming the game run. And this is all you need to know about GP GPU. It's no secret sauce for games, especially when you look at it in the bigger picture. I've let Halo 1 have its own thread, and this is an old single threaded game, as you can see. Look how much the frame rate dropped when it was doing it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.